cannabis should be considered a viable option by all doctors for pain management before an opioid is ever prescribed. When I was 14, I experienced my first migraine. It was like lightning came out of the sky and struck me on the head. I'd soon find that these migraines would unexpectedly hit in an instant and often. And they continued for 25 years. I went to the doctors and they told me I had migraines and that was pretty much it. I tried all the typical migraine pharmaceuticals, which left me immobilized, but still in pain. You know, if you ask most migraine sufferers, they'll tell you the migraine medication they hand out like M&Ms, it doesn't work for most people. I also tried alternative therapies, acupuncture, chiropractors, which didn't help, and in some cases, they actually made things worse. Finally, after years of trying different pain medication, I settled on Vicodin which I found when taken in moderation numbed me just enough to stay functional in my life. Yet it altered my personality and I knew it was highly addictive. It started to scare me that I carried a bottle of Vicodin everywhere I went and that I was consuming more and more over time. I knew I needed an alternative, but I thought I had tried everything. And that's when a friend told me I should try marijuana. Cannabis, like for so many other people, was a medication of last resort. I tried it many times before, but the euphoria other people felt was definitely outside of my grasp. In my mind, it did not seem like a reasonable option for my migraines, almost like a joke. But really, what did I have to lose? Living in California, I went and got a medical marijuana recommendation from a local clinic. Then fortunately, I ended up at a high-end dispensary in San Francisco. There, an educated bud tender helped me select medical marijuana that would not make me anxious or paranoid. I didn't even know this existed. That day, I took home a CBD-rich tincture and a high-ratio CBD to THC vape pen. Consistently dosing with CBD daily, within three months, I was managing my migraine pain, and within six months, I was preventing my migraines altogether. Today, I can say I haven't had a migraine in over four years. I was lucky. For me, cannabis was a silver bullet and stopped my pain and condition in its tracks. But others are not so lucky. For the last 20 years, the go-to resource for treating chronic pain and other types of pain has been opioids. Opioids are highly addictive. If used for more than three to four consecutive days, addiction rates soar among patient populations. Today, more than 90 Americans die every day due to opioid overdose. The most ironic thing about opioids, and this is according to recent research, they are not even effective in the treatment of chronic pain. It's mind-boggling. According to JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association, treatment with opioids was not superior to treatment with non-opioid medications. The translation, they don't work the way we were told they did. And now we have a nation that's addicted. But you know what is an effective treatment for chronic pain? Wait for it, cannabis. In 2017, the National Academy of Science published that adults with chronic pain are more likely to experience clinically significant levels of pain reduction when treated with cannabis or cannabinoids. What's more is when people are given free access to medical marijuana in legal states, prescription rates of opioids go down by about 25%, overall use of opioids go down, and drug-related deaths go down. In other words, a lot less people die. I'm the founder of HelloMD. We're the largest online community of health and wellness cannabis consumers. Recently, HelloMD did a study in conjunction with UC Berkeley with over 3,000 of our patients. It's the largest study done to date on chronic pain, opioids, and cannabis. 97% of patients agreed they were able to decrease their opioid use when cannabis was introduced into their medication regime. And 81% agreed that cannabis was more effective than opioids when used for chronic pain. The bottom line, cannabis should be considered a viable option by all doctors for pain management before an opioid is ever prescribed, before the addiction cycle even has a chance to take root. And one of the best parts, no one has ever died from consuming cannabis. It doesn't control the same receptors in our body, so there is zero risk of overdose. The end.